Obviously, we've launched on January 30th, Blackwood 10. Super excited. The morale's really lifted. Our whole team is really energized. Um, not only have we been launching across various markets around the world, but we're now starting to build momentum. So customers are really getting to experience the device. They're looking at the brand new user experience. And even features like BBM, which mm -hmm. has been you know, the heart and soul of BlackBerry, has really come to shine on the new platform. You're the guy behind the OS, mm -hmm. behind the yes. operating system of BlackBerry 10. So what did you design into it that's distinctive and different for the 10? So first is definitely the user experience. Mm -hmm. um, when you look at the gesture-based design we have, you're able to navigate the entire UI with a single thumb. It's really powerful. But not only that, the hardware design itself is ergonomical, it feels great. And when you combine the two together, it really does stand out. Now, there is no keypad on it. It's all touch screen. And you do have your hardcore base of corporate users yes. who really like the original BlackBerry thumbing, the, you know, the, the QWERTY keyboard, that's gone. Are they warming up to the BlackBerry 10? So actually what we've done with the keyboard is deliver a BlackBerry keyboard. So when you look at the BlackBerry Z10, We've got a fantastic touchscreen uh, keyboard, mm. but we've also got the BlackBerry Q10 that we announced, mm. which will be available shortly afterwards, which is, for those diehard BlackBerry lovers, a physical keyboard as well. Okay, so there, there's that option for Absolutely. them as well. Absolutely. Now we have to talk about apps, mm -hmm. because you do have an app store, but there are a number of really popular apps that are not there. I mean, for example, Spotify isn't there, Google Maps, you know, that's not there either. And so when you look at your rivals and their offerings, how are you going to catch up app-wise? So I think first off, we've built a really solid foundation for a developer ecosystem. We've been running a series of Jam World tours all of last year, really started to build momentum with developers. Secondly, at launch, we announced some fantastic partners who are bringing applications. So whether it be Skype, Amazon Kindle, or even WhatsApp, who are actually launching in just a couple of weeks, you're going to start to see some fantastic applications come to our platform. You know, it's interesting to hear that WhatsApp is going to be offered on your platform because that's a direct competitor to BlackBerry Messenger, which has been very popular. But you have a number of rivals. I mean, there's WhatsApp, there's also Facebook Messenger. How do you plan to keep ahead of the pack? So, if you look at the innovation we've done with BBM, it's always been about real-time chat. Yeah. On BlackBerry 10, we take it to real-time engagement. So we've now brought in video calling and a brand new feature called Screen Share, where you can actually share your content through the call device to device, and it's a fantastic experience. You know, earlier this week, I talked to the CEO of Nokia, mm -hmm. right? And basically, there's a battle for bronze going on the, in the handset market for smartphones. It's between BlackBerry and between Nokia. Um, he said he wants to win gold. What about BlackBerry? What's your feeling? So, you know, we know we're in third place now, yeah. and we're going to continue to strive to win. Uh, we're here to make sure we can climb, and you know, we're delivering a premium experience, uh, fantastic hardware, and we're really leveraging our existing base as well, almost 80 million subscribers. Uh, so we're really here to, to, to win this.